Hey friends, welcome back to another day of karting at VIMC. We're back for the Summer Championship after managing to secure 4th place in all 3 races of the Winter Series just now. So hoping to continue that streak or maybe even snag a podium, but it is going to be a tall order. So as always, the weather this day was variable with a 30% chance of showers throughout. We got out for a dry, if very chaotic, practice session though, and now it's time for qualifying. I got lined up early at the front of the grid. I've got a couple of really fast guys behind me, so my plan is to let them by at the beginning here, and then hopefully slot right in in their draft behind them and follow them around for some quick laps. And there we go. You can see them steaming up on the right, the reverse camera there. They should come into view right here. There we go. Okay, good, a good entrance into the corner. Gaining on them. Gaining should be closing up, but... What's going on here? They're pulling away. That's all flat through there, so I don't know if there's anything more I could have done at that point. I assume they're going to gap me a little bit more here where there is some skill involved, but... Yeah, I wonder uh, if I'm running a bit of extra drag with... Uh, I did check the alignment right before the session, so it shouldn't be that. Um, bearings and such, maybe, but maybe it's time for a, a motor rebuild. I guess uh, mine does have a season and a half on it at this point. Anyway, still getting a touch of draft off them, and if I can manage this last sequence here relatively competently, I should be able to get at least a bit of a boost from that draft on the uh, beginning of this next lap. So, still going to be mostly in clear air, but uh, if I can go over the starting line a little bit quicker than otherwise, then, uh, you know, that'll help if I get nothing better. And as we learned from last race, when we had that little incident in qualifying, you got to get a banker lap in, because you never know what's going to happen. So. I think I'm going to do this one as best I can, and then, uh, assuming I've completely lost the guys in front by then, which appears to be the case already, uh, I'll probably slow down a little bit and uh, wait for, like, Dustin's behind me there to catch up, and then maybe we can work together to do a bit of a faster lap. That left-hander is usually the corner I struggle with most, so nice to take that one cleanly. And that was pretty tidy too, so if I can put this last chicane together, this should be at least a half-decent lap, even though I obviously don't have the pace of the guys in front. And that'll do. So I'm going to come across the line here for a 1 minute point eight, which is not stellar, but it's something. And then, as mentioned, I'm going to slow up a little bit to let Dustin catch up to me and hopefully get some bumps uh, or some draft to help with the next lap. So we'll skip ahead to that one. All right, so just coming around the last corner here, he's closed up, and we've got one more. I think that's Jaden behind him. So if all of us can work together for this lap, and that's nice. He just gave me a push right before the starting line, so that's perfect. Um, that means if we finish together, we're going to be on basically the exact same lap time, and we'll start the pre-final together. All right took that uh, competently. He backed off a little bit into that corner, I think, because he probably didn't know exactly where I was going to slow down. But uh, in the draft, hopefully he can catch me here and give me another bump or two. Not down this little straight, it looks like. But he took that corner quite well, so it gives me a quick one there. Another one? Yeah, this is working out well. This uh, should certainly be a bit faster than the previous lap, because I'm driving it about the same, but getting those bumps... Uh, unfortunately, he lost it a little bit on that corner, so probably not going to get one down the back straight here, but if I'm lucky, possibly one more before the line. Doing okay. I could probably be using a bit more of the exit there, but I uh, don't really want to flirt with that blue barrier too much. Didn't get another bump there before the line, but uh, I did cross it before him, so should qualify ahead at least. And I think that was a 59.8, so at least broke the, the one minute mark. The two guys ahead, uh, Grayson and Kalis, were in the 58s, I believe. I think the uh, the pole time ended up being a 58.7, so I'm about a, a full second off the pace. And we're not going to improve further with this lap, so time to move on to the pre-final. So we got some rain right before this session, hence everyone running in here at the last moment. I'd been planning to try testing a slightly stiffer rear on the cart, but I had to undo those changes as they would have been terrible on a damp track. Didn't have time to change anything else though, so I'm still on my regular dry setup, which is going to make this interesting. Even on the formation lap, it was obvious this was going to be a challenge. 
Fortunately for me, the pack didn't manage to close up, so they did give us a second formation lap, which I really needed to get a bit of heat in the tires. Still not loving how it feels at this point, but hopefully I can just survive this race without losing too much ground, and then we can set things up better for the final. And here we go. Definitely going to play it conservative at first. With the amount of understeer I'm getting, there's no way I'm keeping up with these top three. So just going to do my best to keep pointing in the right direction. Made it through there. All right. Oh, <laughs> except for that big snap of oversteer. But at least I'm still going in the right direction now. And uh, yeah, they're kind of checking out in front of me here. But uh, maybe I can hold on to this position at least. Oh, it's so hard to get it to turn in. Coming from cars, the hardest thing for me has been learning to use my weight to help the cart turn. Most of the time that takes the form of leaning out in the corners to get the weight off the inside wheel. And especially in conditions like this where it's a bit slick, uh, but you're not really set up for it, so it's hard to turn in. You really need to throw your weight over to get that wheel to lift. Problem is, it's tough to do that because if you throw your weight over and it doesn't stick, you really can have it snap around and it's tough to catch. Or at least that's how it feels. I just gotta keep getting used to it. But for now, we've only lost one position, which is actually less than I would have predicted on the first lap there. We got a couple of bumps from Mark behind, and uh, I think that was me actually tapping my helmet asking for more. So hopefully we can keep working together, and if not, catch the guys ahead, at least gap the ones behind. He gave me a lot of margin going into that corner. I don't know if that's because he's struggling or because he sees that I am. Either way, it was probably smart. Um, okay, I'm going to come around here. This left is where I've been really understeering like crazy. So, oh, he's spin. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. All right. There should there's a little bit of a gap coming up. So I think I can get going into there right here. Go. Okay. This makes me cry for my clutch, but if I can just get up here and get moving, at least I haven't lost too many places. Well, oh, it is quite a few places. Three, four, five, six, eight places, something like that. Um, it was a little bit funny how Jaden, uh, he spun before me, and then I guess I kind of sympathy spun, but uh, the two of us had the world's slowest drag race up of that uh, hill afterward. Anyway, hopefully I can close back up to him and maybe the two of us can work through this traffic together. Since the whole goal of this race was to... Oh, come on. This is not helping. Get a good run out of this court? No. That wasn't it. Back in behind him there. At least the guy behind me is helping here. The whole point of this race was to not lose too many spots and we are not doing that now. But okay, good run on him. Get one back here at least. And, whoa, no. Okay. Hey, <laughs> look at that. All right, let's just pass everybody there. We like that. Okay, so we got Jane behind us now. Um, he kind of took off at the beginning. So, oh, he's going to go for... No, he's not going for the pass there. Thought better of it probably with this guy that we were catching. Oh, that's a big snap. Probably made the guy sitting on the bank nervous with that one. And we get the cart to turn. Okay, that's a bit more like it. Of course, it probably helped that I scrubbed so much speed with that snap in the previous corner. Um, <laughs> Jaden's decided enough of this nonsense sticking behind me and it's going to go by. So let's see if I can stick to him. I don't mind being behind for a bit. Uh, I mostly want to just work through as many of these as I can. Oh, there's a couple more for free. Looks like everybody's struggling a little bit with these conditions. this draft, hopefully I can follow him through and get this guy into this corner. Yeah, no problem there. He did get a better exit than me, but at least I'm feeling like I can actually turn into a corner now. So, head down and let's try and make up some ground.
All right, so we've apparently made back 11 spots now, which brings us back to ninth place. If we have to finish here, that's not the end of the world. We could start the final in ninth and probably make up a bit more ground. But uh, of course, we're gonna keep trying here. Not a whole lot's gonna happen for the next few laps though, so let's skip ahead. So two and a half laps later and we are catching someone. And the cart's starting to feel a lot better too. I don't know if uh, it's just heat in the tires or getting used to it, or if the track is continuing to dry out. Well, I know that is happening. So maybe the track's actually coming toward my setup, but either way, drop times from uh, like 107, 108 near the beginning of the race down to the 103s now. Uh, still about two seconds off the pace of the leaders, but a heck of a lot better than it was. And hey, maybe we can get another pass or two and improve our situation for the final. So we're catching 47 here, but he's actually reasonably quick, so I might try and work with him a little bit to catch some more carts. It's good to make that pass before the chicane. Is there anybody else? Yeah, there are a couple more coming up here. One, two, three, actually quite a few, so we might have an opportunity here. Okay, that was good. I don't actually recall. Yeah, so I do decide to push him because I see these other carts up ahead there, and I know there's at least a couple laps left, so maybe time to catch some more. Uh, apparently that only applies for the straight, though. Oh, that's not going to work. Ah, uh, that was not a good idea. I guess I just wanted to push him down the straight and then get by quick and uh, go on chasing on my own, but that actually cost me quite a bit, so I got some ground to make up now. We can do this corner. Well, uh, yeah, that was actually pretty good. That was the smoothest I've taken that all day. Made up quite a bit there. Should be able to finish closing up on the back straight here and then hopefully handle the front more competently next time. Yeah, not gaining a lot down the straights on him, but certainly closing up, uh, especially on the entry of the corners. Maybe in this draft, though, I can finish closing. And that's the last lap, so not a whole lot of time left. That other clump of carts is tantalizingly close. Don't know if we're going to get to them, though. Although they... Some of those might be lapped carts, so they might have some traffic to deal with. Yep, whoa, wow. Okay. Send it around this side. Oh, it squeezed me a little bit. I think I backed off there. Got to be an opportunity here. Oh. Okay, let's just try and take everybody. This might work. Is somebody going to slot in behind me and push me? Here, Dustin, give me a push. Oh, I can't quite do it. Oh, and I actually got crowded. Um, I think it was 47, kind of gave me a little shove onto the curb there, which wasn't ideal, but that corner was good. And we can slot behind Dustin there to get one, and maybe we can get him two. Yep, two, three, all of them. <laughs> That's how we like to do it, right? Everybody in one corner. And if we can get a good exit out of here, we're gaining on 47. Can we have a go at him to the line? No, not quite. Still, made up a bit. Um, checking, I think we started the final in 7th. So, yeah, made a little bit more progress. Obviously not where we'd love to be starting the final, but considering we were facing backwards at one point and how bad the cart felt at first, I will definitely take that, as I always say. And then maybe we can predict the conditions a little bit better for the final, as if that never actually happens, but we'll try. And yeah, of course the conditions did not end up being predictable for the final. It basically spent the entire afternoon repeatedly raining, then clearing, then the sun would come out, it would dry a little bit, then it would rain. So until the last minute, we had no idea what was going to happen. Uh, I basically decided to go with an in-between setup. I hate doing that because it's going to be kind of garbage no matter what the conditions are. But after the pre-final, when I spent the first two laps not able to turn and then spun out, I just didn't want to have that uh, happen again. <laughs> so, I'm at least going to be able to turn now. It's probably going to be a bit twitchy uh, mid-corner if it stays dry, but that is the price I'll pay. Should at least have decent turn-in grip from the start this time, though. So, starting on the inside row in seventh place here, maybe we can make something happen. And here comes the green. Now, I didn't get a great start uh, when the flag flew there. Uh, the guys ahead of me got a little bit of a jump, but fortunately the outside row didn't get a jump on me, so I might not lose any positions. There's a guy trying to tuck it up the inside, but that's not quite going to happen with that barrier there, so he has to back off. That leaves a bit of a gap behind me, and uh, starting to form a bit of a gap ahead of me, but hopefully I can close that up. 
Okay, this will be the moment of truth right here, and yeah, that's a lot better than how that was feeling last race. Closes right up to 47, and hopefully we can dispatch him a bit more easily than uh, it was going in the pre-final. If I'm smart, I will push him down here to try to close with the carts ahead, and then maybe go for it right, yes. Past me, knew what he was doing. Sliding a bit through there, but generally, ooh, wow, he got close to the bear. Um, generally, that felt pretty good. Now, I think we made enough of a gap that we're not going to have to... Oh, he is closing up quick. We might have to worry about him into the next corner here. Let's see. Okay, he's going to work with. That's nice. That should help us close up to 33. And if 47 can stick behind me and uh, give some more bumps, that would be great. But if we gap him and don't have to worry about him, that's not bad either. Okay, so we got Mark up here. Oh, did struggle a little bit to turn in there, but uh, at least didn't lose ton of momentum. If we can get a good corner here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're firmly in his draft. We should be able to close right up to his rear bumper. Now what to do after that is a more interesting question. Mark had some serious pace in the pre-final, so I don't think I'm going to be just flying by him easily, uh, but I also don't think we're likely to catch the top three. So really uh, fourth place is the best we can do this race most likely uh, goals obviously going to be to get by 33 mark there but uh, we also want to stay ahead of the carts behind there's a lot of laps left so it might make sense for me to just stick behind him for a while unless he makes a big mistake and oof okay <laughs> to dodge a little bit there uh, I guess that's payback for when I did that to uh, the guys in the whenever that was qualifying uh, anyway, yeah, I think I'm probably going to just try and push him for a bit, uh, build a nice gap to the carts behind, and start to try and make a move uh, a little bit further on. Also going to be watching for where he tends to be uh, stronger and weaker to uh, pick a good spot to go by later. <laughs> Always enjoy those helmet taps. That is indeed the plan for now. And actually, I don't know if I explained that. I know most of you uh, watching are racers, but in case you're not familiar, um, that tap on the helmet basically just means let's work together and move up. Uh, you know, give me pushes, don't... Ooh, jeez! If somebody even taps that blue barrier, it tends to snap around and collect not only their cart, but the cart behind. So anytime the guy in front of me gets that close, especially with a wiggle like that, it makes me nervous. Um, fortunately, well, I don't know if fortunate or not, but uh, I think I left a little bit too much margin as I went around that corner, so I was able to kind of tuck it in tight and leave myself some space to the barrier just in case he did go into it. Uh, what were we talking about before that? Right, tap the helmet, work with me, let's not fight, let's go fast. And that's the plan, but please don't go into a barrier and kill me if I'm going to do it. Alright, let's go. I definitely feel like I'm strongest through the middle part of the lap, the exit from one there especially, and then this left and right, and he seems to be faster than me on the straights and maybe through the final chicane. Oh, something gonna happen? No, I think he's got too much of a run around the outside there. But anyway, if I can use corner one to build a gap somehow, the problem is it's gonna be really hard for me to stay ahead on the main straight because he's got more speed down there. Uh, so I won't be able to dive into one. I need to either be far enough ahead already that I can stay ahead on the straight and then use one to build a gap, or um, get a run through one and then try and pass him into the left-hander, maybe. Got to run in here, though, so maybe we'll just make it happen. No. See, as soon as I pull out of his draft, he's pulling on me again. That was unfortunate, actually, because uh, I'd been working together nicely up until that point, and now he's uh, maybe got some warning that I'm thinking race. Still got a pretty good run out of one, but so did he that time. 
So nothing happening this lap, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go back to that plant. Definitely gaining on him through there. So if I can get a good run out of one, can pass him into the left, try and build a gap in this part of the lap, and then hopefully have enough margin that he can't get me down the main straight, and then can build a bigger gap through one again. That'll be the plan. Let's see how it goes. Ugh, my line through there was just bad. I think it's throwing me off following him so closely. Uh, also, how close he's getting to that blue barrier is making me nervous. It's a great line by him. He's doing well, but uh, if somebody just clips that, it really murders the cart behind them a lot of the time. I've seen it happen several times. I was actually thinking it might work well if we could move that barrier out another couple feet. Oh, wow. Somebody really took out some cones there. Huh. It looks like they kept going, but wow, I would have liked to see that. Um, anyway, it'd be nice if we could move that barrier out another couple feet and replace it where it is with a line of cones uh, and have a penalty, like a three second penalty if you hit one of those cones leaving the course. So there's still a strong disincentive for somebody to go out there, but at least if they do, it's not going to wrap around their cart and kill them and whoever's behind them. Oh, I'm gaining on him here. Might just uh, take this opportunity. I don't think this is where we want to pass like I was thinking before, but I had such a good run on him that I guess I just felt like I had to go for it. And I may have felt like I was being held up in the middle here. I don't know if I actually was or if I was just getting nervous, but anyway. We've got a pretty good gap to him, but with the run that he kept getting, yeah, he's going to close right up. Now, is he going to work with me? I think I gave my helmet a little tap there with the right hand, but uh, no, no such luck. He's going to go by. And uh, yeah, we do not have that much of a margin to the carts behind. I can't remember if it was right here or a little bit later in this lap when I take a glance back and see that they're getting close. And uh, I think that's why I decided to stop fighting for a little bit. And I'm just going to push him along a little bit further here. But yeah, maybe let me know in the comments what you think about that barrier. Uh, you can take a look at it when we come around the next time here. But I think it could stand to move a little bit further out and maybe a bit further forward to better protect uh, at the front there from the tire wall. And if we put some cones there, then that stops people from just using that extra space. Uh, and I think there would have to be a penalty for hitting those cones, because otherwise someone will, as we've seen from this race, the cones do tend to get hit. But, uh, yeah, at least then, if somebody does make a mistake and goes out there anyway, it's not going to cause, like, the session to be red flagged and potentially take out the cart behind them and all that. Anyway, enough of that, because it looks like we're going to get past. All of that messing around that we were doing has opened an opportunity, and uh, Jaden, who's had some serious pace all day, aside from uh, when we both spun together, is gonna go by me here. Now, this isn't the end of the world as long as I can close this gap here. Maybe I can use this as an opportunity, actually. And uh, sometimes with three instead of two, it's easier to make things happen. But, uh, of course, there's three of us that can make something happen now, and I want it to be me. But it looks like Jaden's going to. Yeah, if I can play this right... Mm. Okay, well, at least I'm closed back up. Got a lap cart here. Fortunately, all got by cleanly, so that's nice. And as long as I can stick with them, there's still a possibility. So I'm running, I guess, sixth now. I think I'm going to bump Mark because we want to be right up with Jaden there. And uh, knowing Mark, I bet he's going to make a move into one here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there he goes. So, not going to give me any better opportunities doesn't really make a difference. Bit of a space behind now, so it's really a battle between the three of us. Okay, they're starting to almost go side by side. Something might develop here. I just gotta wait for the opportunity. There it is. Okay, can I follow him? Yes. Alright, so we kind of blew by there. And uh, I'm not gonna try and make another pass here. I want to make a gap and least only have one guy to deal with. Yes, I know just a second ago I said maybe three is better than two, but that was just a bit of copium. Okay, perhaps out of necessity took that a bit better than I had been before and got a good run on Jaden here. Um, looks like I'm going to push him up to here, and I think I'm still in the mindset of biding my time. Yeah, he's defending anyway, but uh, not necessary. I wasn't going to try and go by there, I don't think. We still, we're not in the last lap anyway. 
Um, don't necessarily want to wait for the very last lap because that gives him an opportunity to just defend. But I would like to uh, keep building a gap behind here. Mark's doing a great job closing up to us, though, even though we're not fighting. I guess Jaden was going a little bit defensive there, so that might have helped. But still. So we're back to a three-way battle. Although I'm not sure if I realized at the time just how quickly he'd managed to close back up. I looked back after we passed him, we built a big gap, and I pretty much thought he was gone. But, uh, yeah, closed right back up. Um, let's see if we can take this better again. And yeah, we are doing that better. Maybe it's just that Jaden takes it more similarly to how I do, so it's easier for me to follow him through there or something. Uh, whatever it is, that's a white flag lap, and Mark is actually sending it up the outside of both of us. Uh, I guess that double draft helping him, and oh no, no! Oh, that is not how I wanted to get by him. Uh, for what it's worth, I did actually intentionally give him a little bump on the front after I had sent him around to at least get him going back in the right direction. But that was ugly. I just didn't expect him to make that little juke out to the outside before turning in and uh, and slowing up quite that much. Um, but I guess he was on the inside to defend and then wanted to open the corner. Anyway, completely my bad, but uh, yeah. Oh no! Oh jeez. God, this is not going terribly well. Uh, that caused me to have to slow up. So I uh, got a bit of a gap to mark here and only one last chance. If I can close to him through here, Maybe I can get a go out of the last... Oh, no! Oh! And now we've reached the point of the video where I'm just about to get into a pretty nasty crash. So if you don't want to see that, you can skip ahead to the time that I'm going to put on the screen here. Fortunately, we all know the cameraman always turns out all right. So with that knowledge, here we go. And just in case that wasn't enough, this one should give you an idea how it felt. I think I'll be alright. <laughs> Need a minute. And I was all right, mostly, after a bit. Even managed to help these fine folks carry my cart off. And uh, then got to take a nice little victory lap. So, not exactly the way I would have liked my race to end, especially, you know, in the last corner of the last lap. But uh, at this point, I was kind of stuck between feeling frustrated about that and feeling glad that uh, all my bones seemed to be in one piece. As far as the incident itself, I'm not sure there's a whole lot I could have done differently right at the end there. Obviously, just had no way to anticipate that he was going to go around and I did my best to avoid him and actually thought that I'd made it and was in the clear just like the spin that I managed to avoid in the previous corner but uh, obviously did not quite happen. Now of course if I hadn't gone into Jaden at the beginning of that lap everything would have been different and uh, probably would have made it to the end of the race but you know mistakes happen and we can't really go back and start second guessing everything that happened that day maybe if I had something different for breakfast everything would have been different too. Actually, one nice surprise was I still finished 16th out of 30 because of everyone I'd lapped. But, important thing is, I'm okay, nobody else got hurt, and uh, my cart's pretty messed up, but it can be fixed. Or maybe I will take this as a sign that I should upgrade, and maybe come back even faster next time. Which is, I believe, the regional championships at the beginning of May. Very much looking forward to that, and I hope to see you there. Like, that's, that's full taco. So he hit the wall to avoid another another racer. Is as far, that... From what I can tell, it's hard to say because they're all like the camera's up there. Right. Yeah, I couldn't see that, and so, on that turn. What yeah. So it's one of those things where they're below the tire line. Yeah. Exactly. So I'll have to watch his uh, yes footage. I hope he posts it. Oh, he will. Oh, you know it. And that is it. So if you enjoyed, or you're just glad I survived, feel free to give the video a like. And goodbye.